So my expectation at the time was join the army, stay in the army until you know retired. That obviously didn't work out the way I wanted it to. The immediacy for me though, straight after the accident, wasn't about what am I going to do now, it's I'm in such a bad state, I've got to get myself fixed up first, and then think about where to from there. But obviously as that journey's progressing, you're then starting to think more and more about, well, where do I go to from here? I've got no job. My prospects for employment again are pretty limited now, but just simply because of the nature of the injuries. On top of worrying about that, there's the psychological stuff that comes with it as well. For me though, I prioritised what I needed to do. Get better, find a job, and then go from there. So I got better and found a job, but what I didn't do was then um, focus about fixing myself mentally. So my trade in the army as it was then was called crewman. So a crewman pretty much was uh, manned or, um, or what we would call armoured fighting vehicles, well, the colloquial term being tanks. My job at the time of the accident was a uh, gunner. So my position would be in the turret, uh, primarily maintaining and firing the main gun. On this particular day we're heading out to the range, but our driver called in sick which meant I doubled as the driver and gunner. Drove the vehicle out to the range, did some shooting, and then was on the way back where the vehicle hit a bank, rolled over onto its roof, and uh, exploded. I was left upside down in the vehicle, on fire, for about 20 minutes to half an hour. And there was an expectation that I probably wouldn't make it from the accident site, but, as it turns out, here I am still 23 years later. As a soldier, sailor and airman, you're never going to experience the same kind of camaraderie outside of that environment. So when you leave, whether it's by design or by your own choice or by accident, you miss it because you feel like you're alone in the world. And while soldiering, they teach you to be independent, there are times when you do actually need help. There are some things you just can't do by yourself. One, two, three, kill me! Being an Invictus put me back into that group again. I see it from time to time with some people as they leave the army and then they're lost. They don't know where to go, what to do, or, or, or how, to, how to live a normal life outside of outside of soldiering. So if I can show them that actually this is how you do it, and that there's nothing to be afraid of. No one's gonna judge you, no one's here to judge you. All we're here to do is help you and support you. That's always been in the back of my mind, but Invictus has given me the opportunity to be able to do that. If me being there brings one person onto that, on board with that, then I think I've done something.